there is a problem. There is a very, very big problem. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Ah, the ladies are bored. Bored in the bedroom. No, 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 ladies. Ladies, lay down. Let the sex begin. people welcome back to my channel I'm Kofana Shimange and this is how I do things the show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things now you can take it as advice use it don't use it it is completely up to you I am excited I'm still excited because this is a date night challenge meaning that at the end of today's sex talk I'm going to give you ladies a challenge for you to do with your man your husband he has been does not know what's coming for him today <laughs> And I give you seven days to find out how it goes down when you take the challenge. Will you take it? Will you step up and be the one to accept the date night challenge? You'll have to wait until the end of the video to find out what this week's challenge is. But for now, after last week's date night challenge, and a question that I popped on Instagram, and I asked ladies, listen, would you have sex with your husband for 30 consecutive days? And ladies were just like, I never. So there were very, there were two very opposite sides of, you know, the feelings and the questions that came from that. The first half of the ladies were just like, yes, please, let's do this. Me and my husband, we're going to try it, you know? And the others were just like, no, no, no. After you've been married for some time, girl, uh, no, sex gets boring. That stuff just doesn't happen. It's just not, mm -mm, no. Wait until you're married and with babies. And I am married. I do have a child. Yes, I haven't been married for long, but I do come from a school of thought, a family of women who believe that, you know what? Sex can be interesting and you can keep up the love, the fire, the flames in your relationship no matter how many years you've been married. So what is the wisdom? What do they do? How do they make sure that the fire keeps going with the same people for 10, 20, 30, 40 years? Ah, how oh, is a very long time. Same. But somehow they make it happen. So today we're going to be talking about what do you do when you feel bored? As the wife, you're just like, I'm a bit over it, just a little, you know? How do I, I'm, I'm just a little over it. What do I do? What do I do to make sure that I'm not over it and I enjoy it so that the both of us can be enjoying our sex life as a married couple? Well, this video will dissect the situation. But if you have any questions that you want to send over to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It's in my Instagram highlights. Reply and let me know which question or scenario you'd like me to talk about in our next video. But for now, let's get into that deep question of what to do when you feel bored about sex with your man. Look, sex is very important in a relationship. In a marriage, it needs to be there. It needs to keep the flame alive. You need to find that same lerajo that you have been looking at for years as a beautiful, beautiful thing. You still need to just grab it, squeeze it like a liguinha. And you're just like that, that's my bum, mine. Nah, that booty is mine. And you still need to be fascinated by it and love it. But it's been the same one. It's been the same bum. And it's not up there like it used to be. When you met that man, that man's butt was right up here. But now it's not the same anymore. So now what? It's just us. And even then, even if you've been together for a year, two years of marriage, and you're thinking to yourself, it's starting to get a little mundane. What do we do? Sex is important in the marriage. Some people say that a marriage without sex is dangerous. So how do we switch it up as women, right? Men seem to be able to get it up any day, any time, any way. Whoop, whoops, there it is. But how do we make sure that we don't get bored? How do we make sure that we get into the mood more often, especially during those dry spells when you're just like, just don't feel like it anymore. Number one is to do some introspection, right? Are you tired of sex or are you bored? You could be tired and may need a little break and a sex break may actually work, right? Just a period of a week just to say, I need to gather myself, right? Gather my thoughts because it does get frustrating when somebody's just there going, 
baby, baby, my loving. You know, try to get things going and you're just like, I'm not, I'm tired. You know, you may be going through some things mentally that are making you physically exhausted and you may need to just have a little break, right? Leave, Nyana, apply for leave just to gather yourself and during that time not to get frustrated by the request still right but the most important thing about that time is that you're using that time to gather yourself and come back guns blazing and there needs to be an end date to it and it can't be too long you don't want to also frustrate your husband but at the same time there's two in this relationship it takes two to tango right or are you bored do you feel as though things is just the same? It's the same PP, same positions, same routine. You know, routine can get boring, it does. And you may need to switch things up. So it needs to start with the introspection for you to get to the point of why. Why am I bored? Why is it that I used to enjoy this and now I don't? What is it that's making me feel this bored feeling? But it first starts with, am I tired or am I bored? If you're tired, fix that and have some time to return and guns blazing in the bedroom like I'm ready for you. Or are you bored? Do you need to switch things up? And it will give you a better perspective moving forward into the next steps. Number two is to ask for your man's involvement. It takes two to tango, two to get down, right? So you need to get his involvement. Remember, when this man asked to marry you, he wanted to jump your bones from the beginning. He still wants to jump your bones. Things may have changed, shifted a little bit, but those bones need to still be jumped by the same man, right? So you need to ask for his involvement. And this is where things can get a little sensitive. You don't want to start the conversation with, listen, I'm bored of having sex with you. Wouldn't you feel offended if he said that to you? So why would you say that to him? Think about it. If he was in your position, what would you want him to say? So approach it with caution. Approach it knowing that this is how I would want to be approached about this conversation. And approach it with a mindset of solving the problem and not necessarily just talking about all the bad. So if I was in your shoes, I'd literally go to my man and say, hey, I'm thinking maybe we should switch things up in the bedroom. Do you want to try something new? Because that's a problem, that's not a problem oriented approach, that is a solution oriented approach. I want to solve it. I've taken my time to think about it and maybe there may be things that I need to talk to him about that may be frustrating me in the sheets but you want to resolve it and you want to do it in a way that you are approaching the sensitive matter with some sensitivity. How would you want him to talk to you about it? You don't want this to cause other arguments. So always think about it that way. How would I want someone to talk to me about this issue? And then you go talk to him about it. It takes two to tango. It's not your problem to fix by yourself. But remember, that's why you have step one, which is to introspect and to find out why am I tired? Why am I bored? And then go in knowing all of the things that you've introspected about and the matters that you may want to bring up and have a positive conversation and at the end of the conversation the result should always be let's go start now let's get this engine going number three is my favorite and that is to take the lead you are the matador and he's the bull baby i kill the bull for you right you should take the lead get some red panties and be like charge me baby hey take the lead sometimes it does take some time for you to find out what it is that you want and for you to do that you should take some initiative right a lot of the times husband seems to be the one to take the initiative he seems to be the one tapping you over the shoulder when you get into bed he's the one who leads with the kiss he's the one who asks for it how about now and again every thursday since it's date night challenge you take the lead you're the one who gets into her panties first Whatever needs to happen, try to take the lead, even if it's just once a week to ensure that once a week it goes down the way I want it and how I want it and I take the lead, do it. It is very common for men to take the lead in the sheets. So if you want things to change, if you want to get over that mundaneness and the boringness of the relationship or the sex the way that is happening right now, take the lead. If you want to get over that bump, that hurdle, that hump of boredom within the sheets, you need to take the lead so that you can initiate that something different happens. Number four is to explore different levels of intimacy. Sex is a very big mind game for us as women, okay? 
what turns us on is different to what turns men on. It's a big mental game for us. And you may find that there are different levels of intimacy that may be lacking that are causing the physical intimacy to struggle. So there may be a lack of certain conversations that need to happen in the relationship. There may be the touch that is missing in the relationship. There may be something that you need, right? That emotional intimacy that may be missing. Find those different levels of intimacy and explore them. You may miss just being cuddled, right? Just to get into bed and just to be cuddled, to sit and watch a movie and to sit in his arms or for him to sit in between your legs. What are the different levels of intimacy and how can you then start to explore them? Emotionally having those conversations, it may be physical touch that you may be missing. Look at the different ways that you interact with each other in the form of love. Love doesn't only have to go down in sex, it can go down in different levels as well. So explore those different levels and see that maybe you are hungry on another level and that is then what is feeding the physical intimacy that now may seem boring to you. Number five, make a commitment to try something new. Yes, I said it, try something new. There's a routine that you get into when you've been in a relationship for a long time. You do it at the same time, in the same way, when you get into bed. You almost have like this area that it always happens and it always goes down the same way. You want to try something new, whether it is a new position, whether it is a different time of the day. If you guys are always doing it during the weekend, try do it on a Tuesday. Tuesday is the official most random day of the week. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday all have meaning. Tuesday is chief randomness. So if you want to pick a random day, Tuesday is the day, right? So if you're feeling as though, I wanna try and do it on a different time of the day, different day of the week, Tuesday is the day for you. Different time of the day, maybe something different. So try and switch things up. Position-wise, get some lingerie, do something different. P.S. if you want to get some lingerie, this is the one that I picked out the other day and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love this. If you can find it, ladies, just get it for yourself. The link is in my description. I noticed from the last time that you guys like things that are strappy, so this could work out really well for you. And if you're looking for a book that could really help you with different levels of intimacy, I know that Dr. T has an amazing book that you can definitely read. I still have to read it, but I know um, that so many people have recommended it. So if you're looking for something to read about different levels of sex and intimacy, even when it comes to talking about it with your kids and talking about it between you and your partner, just truly understanding what it is, then Dr. T is your girl. So those are the five things that I would do if I felt as though I was getting a little bored in my relationship and I needed to spark some difference. Taking the lead is really an amazing thing that puts the power in your hands and says that the ball is in your court. If you feel as though you want to switch things up a little, then maybe doing it something new and taking the lead may be the things that you need to do. Having that little bit of introspection can unravel some things about you that you may have wanted to unravel. It may be that you want to try something new, do things that you haven't done before, fulfill a few fantasies, or maybe just have a different level of intimacy that you haven't had before. Now, I'm Kapana Shimangi and I'm your captain and I have a new mission for you. If you choose to accept, this week's date night challenge is this. I want you and your man to do it in a completely different place. If you're always doing it on the bed, try the floor. If you've never done it in the shower, now's the time. If you have to try it in the bathtub, do it. If your couch has never seen your bottom as your man just takes you, then do it on the couch. Your challenge this week is for you and your man to make love in a completely new place in your house. Think about it. Where have you not done it? The office table, the kitchen table, the floor in the TV room, the floor in the bedroom, the bathroom, Think about it and do it. Once you have completed the message, send me a blank picture with hashtag date night challenge. Tag me at Kopanashimange and send me a tick that looks 
something like this. If you need a love coupon, then you can go to my website to download it. That is your mission for the week. I am your captain, Kopano Shimange, reporting from how I do things. This message will self-destruct in five, four, three, two, one. gorgeous thank you so much for watching the video i am so excited about the date night challenge and thank you to everybody who has been participating if you have missed the last week's date night challenge then head over to this video right here to find out what was last week's challenge and if you can fulfill it this week now you got seven days to fulfill it send me that picture on instagram once you have completed it but until next time give this big uh, this video a big thumbs up if you loved it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't until next week gorgeous bye